Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Red Pill News. As always, my name is Zach Payne, the corruption detector, and joining me as they do every month for our stimulating series of conversations on C60 Evo and ESS60, my good friends Chris Burris and Patty Greer. Chris, how are you today, sir? Good to see you. Wonderful, Zach. Great to see you as well. Uh, I'm excited to, to connect with you again. It feels like it's been longer than normal, but uh, I'm, I'm glad we're getting together again. Well, you've been missing suspiciously oh. the last couple of months. I think you've had like events or something that you were doing. Yeah. But lots of events, lots of travel. So back, glad to be back in Houston and, and getting back to my routine. Glad to have you here. And Patty, the stalwart here every month. Uh, thank you so much, Patty. I do appreciate it. How are you doing? I'm so excited about life, you know, I mean, we're three weeks from one way or another, this country changing <laughs> and we're staying the same. So um, it'll be real interesting to see how we roll. But um, man, what a journey. This is so fun. And that's why I, I use this mug every day. It says peace because I wake up and it's like, what do I want to bring into today? Oh, that's easy. You know, just grab the mug. So uh, it's a good that's way to go for all of us. Yeah. yeah. But I think that the reason my brain is still on is because of my daily dose of Evo. And I would like to propose a toast to everyone out there that all of you will have a bottle someday soon and join us. And if you do, please join us now. But you'll notice Chris in the lab has a, is that called a beaker? I've got a spoon. A medicine cup. Yep. <laughs> and Oh, he's got the inner cheers. Cheers. Mm. So the reason we do this at the top of every show together is <clears throat> because it helps the brain. It also helps the throat. It coats the vocal cords. Woo! That yeah. is some wonderful, <clears throat> strong, real stuff with the pepper. I've been a sissy. I mean, I never was an olive oil person in my whole life, but I have learned to be because of what this does every day. You know, yeah? I, I never thought about it, but we only used olive oil when I was growing up. Like we didn't use like corn oil or vegetable oil, like everything that we cooked, it was always in olive oil. And I kind of just took it for granted that that's what everybody used. But then, uh, you know, I get older and I realize, you know, like people are using like Wesson or something like that. But it's not good. It's not good for you, you know? I mean, mm. um, I do remember having Crisco around, like when my mom would bake and stuff, but mostly yeah. we were using yeah. butter. Um, but Crisco was like, you know, for select things um, or maybe a can of bacon grease or something like that. I, I definitely remember. Oh, I'd it say maybe, that. It, it may be why your brain is still working so well. I, could, like, I was thinking that too. Like yeah. it, it really, these bad oils are just a, a thing to be, to get, I mean, the, the, the whole path that the food pyramid sent us down, really a path to obesity is, is, is kind of crazy. It is. And it's gotten even worse, you guys. I mean, I was looking at it the other day and I think they put like carbs like up at like the top. Like that's what you're mostly supposed to eat now if you listen to modern day dietitians. And, you know, I, I think back to when I was a kid and it was, you know, an increasingly smaller portion of what your average daily intake of food was supposed to be. But I mean, you know, I, I have to be honest with you guys. I'm very, very excited about this recent coalition that's come together, the fact that RFK is out there talking about the health problems that Americans are suffering from, because it, it is a huge deal. And I think that it is, it should be, it always should have been, but I'm glad that it is now, a major part of the platform to move America forward. Because if we're not healthy, if we're not taking care of our bodies, then we really can't focus on much of anything else. Because People for so many years have just been almost uh, obsessed with maintaining this like baseline level of, of of health and wellness that for most people like wasn't good in, in any respect. You know, I mean, you, you mentioned obesity. So many people are, are obese. So many people are forced to take medications. Uh, people are saddled with these uh, sort of ongoing medical issues. And uh, and this was another thing that was kind of surprising to me when I grew up, because we also didn't go to the doctor when I was a kid. Like, I, I can remember the select times. I am still here. Yes, yes. I, I remember those select times when I did. And it was because I like, like, like gashed my knee open or something like that, you know, or I busted a tooth in the front of my mouth. And uh, and, and that was what I saw going to the doctor for. 
And then I grew up and I realized that so many other people, they, I mean, they were constantly going to the doctor. You know, I mean, everybody was also getting jabbed up. I mean, we weren't getting jabbed when I was a kid. And uh, and so that might have something to do with my path in life as well. But it's great to see that as a country, we are moving towards this sort of uh, uh, revolution in healthcare and uh, changing the idea of what it means to be healthy. And, you know, obviously... I think that this is a, a huge part of it. Should be a huge part of it, anyways. We lost Patty. I wonder what happened. There, okay. she ran yeah. into the kitchen. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, that's beautiful. I didn't even know they were making Maha hats. That's so great. They weren't. Oh, did you but make I one? I tell you, <laughs> make America healthy again. That's why you lost me. I ran to the. I was sitting here going, get the hat. I'm looking around. <laughs> I don't have a hat. I have two of them. Can I send you one? Would you like oh, my other Maha? Absolutely. Yes, I would okay. totally love it. Yes. Yeah. So I'm very proud to say that we have sent Bobby Kennedy Jr. three. Very cool. One, two, and three sampler sets because I didn't know which flavor he would like. What I learned about Bobby Kennedy Jr., what a great man, thank you for this, is that um, you have to have it blessed in a church and check by his security before he'll receive anything obvious. So he received shipment number two and three. And I really hope to hear him speak more clearly with that peppery, you know, Evo. Yes. Um, and so I recently was with the people that are the connection between us. And I said, let's get him on the capsules because they're easy to travel with. And I'm telling the audience this because Bobby Kennedy Jr., who's the head of Make America Healthy Again, I don't care if you are Republican or Democrat or independent. I'm independent because I'm not here. I can't fight because it's so wrong. It's just so ridiculous. But here we have Make America Healthy Again. How can you be mad at that? And you look at this man and all he's done is try and help America and the kids be healthy again. And the other guy, whatever his name is, Make America Great Again, how can you hate those concepts? Mm -hmm. So I had to run and get the hat. Yeah. And I'm really proud to say that he has received our gifts and uh, the next batch is going to be the capsules so that he can always have them with him. And I can't uh, help but notice that you did the, ha the hat in purple. Was was that on purpose? To, to <laughs> <laughs> I wish... I didn't do the hat. Oh, you I, didn't? Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, this was a gift. Oh, okay. Okay. I get you. I get you. Yeah. I, th no, I um, thought you were being cheeky, like, you know, we need, because I mean, it's a great idea. I mean, I think that, you know, it, no, they need to be I don't wear. I don't wear politics. <laughs> and I'm really trying not to buy that giant flag to stick on my car that's like huge. But <laughs> I wear a flag shirt usually. Today I dressed down. I didn't wear the flag. I figured I'd done that enough. Just conservative today, <laughs> you know? <laughs> This is what Evo is about for me is seeing is is creating change in people. And right now, I don't care what team you're on. If you can't want to make people healthy again, then you're just being silly. Mm -hmm. And when people say, oh, it's so expensive, it's like, what's your health worth? Yeah. You know, and a normal bottle when you do all the minor, easy um, monthly subscription, 20 percent off. People say it's a car payment sometimes. It's like, what website are you looking at? It's like $80 maybe a month. And I don't buy any of my supplements that I used to, mm -hmm. hundreds of dollars. Um, I don't need pills or anything anymore because for some reason, wow, 172 times more powerful than vitamin C. For some reason, I, I can't say the world, don't get sick ever. I've been around my sick family and it's like, I'm not worried. Get in the car. You know, I take Evo and I've got all my family on Evo and my 95 year old mom. And now I'm starting to feel guilty because she's like, I'm the only one still here. All my friends, everybody dying or I'm still reading big fat novels. And I'm like, should I feel bad sending her so much Evo? No, I don't send her that much, but she takes a spoonful. I mean, am I guilty of, prolonging my mother's life i asked my stepsister this morning because my mom's like this is lonely you know i'm anyway <laughs> the evo really works beyond everybody's expectations in my world 
That's my testimonial, and this is my hat. Your mother is basically the living embodiment of the Library of Alexandria. You are preserving knowledge for future generations, so I don't think you have anything to worry about. One thing that I was thinking about, though, I mean, just every time I think about the antioxidant aspect of this, the last time I got sick sick was in 2021 when I went to an event and like everybody got sick. I truly believe that there was there there was some poisoning or something that happened there. And I mean, I was deathly ill <clears throat> for about 10 days. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't I lost like 20 pounds just because I, I couldn't eat. I really wasn't doing anything at all. And um, and it took me a while to, to put the weight back on. But um you know, what I used to do when I would get sick, because, you know, living in Michigan, you're, you're going to get colds at the same time everybody else get colds. I would immediately start loading up on vitamin C, you know, like taking, you know, like like 10,000 units of vitamin C at a time. Just, like, you know, just dumping the 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 whatever those those C packets are, whatever they might be. Emergency. Or, yeah. Emergency. Yes. Yes. And I would chug those all day. And, um, you know, because antioxidants, vitamin C, I mean, that's what you're supposed to take when you get sick. And it wasn't that long after that that we got together and uh, and you guys said that you wanted to uh, help out with the show. And and I was like, OK, you know, I mean, this is something that I would be taking theoretically anyways, uh, because it was part of my medicine cabinet. And uh, and I haven't had a cold since I started taking C60 Evo ESS 60 on a daily basis. And um, and so I haven't had to load up on, you know, uh, 10,000 units of vitamin C at a time. Uh, and, I you know, I'm only taking the recommended amount every single day. And I just haven't gotten a cold. I haven't gotten sick. And I was still living in Michigan at that point. And uh, and even down here in Florida. Um, yeah, it hasn't happened. So, you know, I just personal testimonial. But I just thought that that was uh, relevant. I can share mine's a little bit different. So even weekend before last, uh, my wife and I went to Costa Rica for a wedding. And on on the Saturday night, I could feel like post nasal drip. It was starting to I was starting to have a sore throat from swallow, you know, when you swallow. So like you just know, in, in fact, in the old days, that meant I was just out for like 10 days straight up mm-hmm. and then probably going to the doctor and getting antibiotics just in case that kind of situation. Uh, I, I took a couple extra doses of C60 Evo. Um, I kind of felt it through the night. It was like, I'm going to still feel real bad in the morning. And I just woke up and like everything had reduced like tenfold. Right. So I still had a little post nasal drip. I still had a little sore throat, but I go to the wedding. I have a good time at the wedding, have a couple glasses of champagne at the wedding. Then we travel back to Houston from Costa Rica. Like and and it ha- it's just something like, sir, I have something. My body is dealing with something. And with the Evo, my body's able to deal with it and I'm able to get throughout my day easily. So it's it's pretty amazing because um, I spent a lot of time. I'll never forget. I was in a Spanish class and I was sharing that I get sick like two times a month and this and and I've always been athletic but this lady sitting next to me was like, "Oh wow, you're really sickly." And I was like, "That was that felt offensive, but I also got sick like twice a month." And so so I was like, "You're not wrong, but it hurts." So I, that just doesn't happen anymore. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> you know, I have the same story as you, Zach, which is that I never get sick. But I got really sick with that flu thing in the back row going to see Del Big Tree. Mm. All of us in the back row got really sick with that flu thing. And we thought it was in the ventilation system. Yeah. I only knew everybody in the back row, but I wonder if the whole place did. That was the only time. But I think I've got the biggest brag, which is that this year I had two hip replacements. And I healed so quickly, so well, that five days after my first surgery, um, I told the doctor, I don't do pain pills because I don't want to be stupid, Um, but I did it for 24 hours so I didn't have to feel anything. Maybe 48, boom, I hit the olive oil Evo. And on day five, I told Chris, I can do the show with you. Do you remember that? (laughs) He's like, come on, you got to be on drugs. Just like... (laughs) So from the chest up, I'm like, hey, I'm totally back. Just had a major hip replacement with a thing this long, but yeah, I'm fine today. (laughs) And mind boggling, nine weeks later, I did it again. And yesterday I bumped into somebody that said, oh my God, you're walking. And I said, walking? 
crank the music, let's dance. <laughs> so I was like, I'm bounding. I, I'm very excited. I'm reminding myself of these people with the lethargic dogs that they're worried they're going to have to put down last year. <laughs> I was worried they're going to put me down last year. <laughs> and uh, I never quit taking the Evo. And those testimonials are kind of the same as mine, which is I'm bounding back up the stairs now for the first time in years. Yeah. This is fun. I, I remember when you had the hip replacement and, you know, it, you didn't tell me until about halfway through the show. And I was like, what the hell are you doing here, Patty? <laughs> I was like, this I is can't. my job. I like it. My oh. brain never went to sleep. You know, what's creepy is that I can still remember the surgery room. Like I remember the entire wall of tools and the people in their astronaut suits over all the, I remember it all and not feeling fear because I, I took it to the max. I couldn't walk. I was like, okay, what are my options, doc? And he said, stay home or get it done. It's like, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's big time. surrender. Yeah. But you know, the product works for everyone. And I look at the three of us, we are so different. You're like Mr. UFO weirdo guy with Trump and all that, you know, and the woo lamp. And here I am, crystal lady in Boulder, Colorado, all cosmic with the birds and the squirrels in the backyard. And then we got Captain Chris at the lab. And people sometimes go, what's with the lab coat and the costume? It's like, no, he's really a scientist. He's really in a lab. The glasses are really glasses, you know, prescription goggle glasses that are great for the lab. He's, you know, so it's kind of a funny thing where people aren't really sure, like, who this product is for. But the three of us are so wonderfully different, living in different states, and we all take it every day. And all of our influencers do. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool because... Um, that's the authentic thing about it is we're not actors. Yeah. We don't have to fake it. I mean, the stuff is keeping my mom alive at 95 and she's the only one, you know, to me, that's just like, God, you know, it's so extreme what I see. Mm -hmm. And I'm really feeling like the clarity in my brain, it's got to be this product because I don't really do anything else, but I should have like weaknesses after having this replacement of major parts but instead I got stronger. And Beautiful. I think that the threat of losing life and not being able to walk has made me so much more grateful for being alive every day and for walking. And uh, my grandkids, you know, that were used to seeing me like, yeah, I really can't. Now we're like, get out of my way, I'm first. I mean, teasing, <laughs> but it's a whole lot more fun now. Just bought a sports car, just like, I'm ready to party, <laughs> not literally, but I'm, I want to make up for lost life, Sure, you know, and I'm 71, so I got to grab it. But, you know, my mom's going to be 120 if I keep sending her a bottle when she runs out, you know, <laughs> mom, we're good. We're good. <laughs> you want to drive this time, mom? <laughs> right? Yeah. I said, do you remember when you had all your surgeries done and you got that little convertible? Oh, yeah. Like I remind her things of like 50 years ago. Oh yeah. Damn mom, you're something else. No, I'm not. I heard, you know, I'm 95. Like, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> anyway, for all of everybody listening, I mean, you know, if it can do this for older people and older dogs and younger people, my kids are crazy about it. This is my easiest sell. I give a gift of the, and the facial serum mm -hmm. to men or to women, see, he got a gift from me. Oh wait, you make it there, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is my easiest, I always get a call like within a few days, but I just saw um, I, the, the wife of the person I bought this sports car from, uh, I said, here, give this to your wife, best friends of my daughter. And, uh, and here's something for you. And uh, they both ordered. Like everybody I give a sample to now, boom, they order. And uh, a brother-in-law, he saw my my son-in-law say, okay, I got to admit, I really am feeling this now. And he's a guitar player, touring, never gets sick anymore. Oh, yeah. So he said the difference, and he's only 40, just turned. He said it's really noticeable. 
And I couldn't say anything until I was really sure. So the other brother's going, what are you talking about? And he goes, well, you know, the capsules. And I said, why don't you grab him some? It's only one in the afternoon. So he hands him and he said, oh, my stomach, I'm kind of delicate. And I said, give him four, not six, because <laughs> six is just a teaspoon. So he's feeling like, oh, small dose. And I said, yeah, but it's the olive, which is super potent, wonderful. <laughs> but again, it's how I impress people. This is the easiest thing. I've ever sold because it just works. Mm -hmm. So um, there it is. And because I'm a case, I look at every receipt. Even Chris says, stop wasting your time. It's not a waste of time when they come from the Isle of Guernsey. It's like, <laughs> how far we reach New Zealand order. Sweden, Iceland is so fun to see where the orders come from. But I saw my son-in-law's, uh, my my uh, the, the young guy that got it from my son-in-law, and he ordered buy two, get one half off. So he ordered three bottles of it after just doing it for two days. I just get the sweetest satisfaction. But I saw the wife uh, at the party, a party on Saturday. She walks in. She I didn't know if she tried it yet or, you know, was doing other products. But she comes up to me and she was glowing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I, she said, how do you like my skin? And I was like, you have beautiful skin. She goes smell me i was like oh my god you're doing it <laughs> um my best friend's with her husband says hashtag smell my face i mean lisa does okay, the same well, thing yeah yeah you want to give the best gift ever the uh, the facial serum is so good men women love it and the olive oil boom but and it's really funny. everybody i've given a sample to has ordered it and, you know, and, and the other part about it is like most women are going to be putting something on their face regardless. I mean, men, you know, I think that there, nowadays there's a lot more men that are doing things like that. But I mean, it's pretty much a given, you know, women are going to put something on their face at night. And I would say 99 percent of the products that exist out there have something in them that you really don't want to be putting on your skin. Like you're talking about some dangerous chemicals, some perhaps unsavory ingredients that would make you uncomfortable if you were aware that they were in there. And it's not going to be the case with this, either of the facial products that you guys make. Uh, they're both completely benign, natural, and they're actually going to produce results, which you can't say that for everything else. You're no, you look amazing one, for right? 80. <laughs> Chris, what? You're going to talk about this one, right? Because uh, yes. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> Chris you don't has want to been talk waiting. about and explain the peptide? It's been he waiting all ahead. morning. <laughs> so what Chris is doing, ladies and gentlemen, is he's applying two pumps. Oh, that one's I I ran almost out. out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I got one pump. So there's two bottles. And the reason there's two bottles for the other facial serum, other than the one that I showed you that just smells amazing, this one also smells amazing, but it's two bottles because we added peptides that the lab had discovered had 30 years of um, testing on skin and hair and had great results. So we have a second facial serum, this one called Advanced uh, Youth Renew Duo. And it's the two bottles that you blend together so that we didn't have to put in emulsifiers or chemicals and look at his glowing skin. And um, he used to talk about these things, but now he just wants to model. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you look fabulous, glowing. But Sam was really glowing at the party. It was like, yikes. You're hurting my eyes. <laughs> so so I have actually been using the peptide stuff at night, and I was doing some research on the copper peptide. And you mentioned hair. There is uh, quite extensive research on people using it to regrow hair. And so I was wondering if you guys had considered doing some sort of like uh, scalp product specifically for it. Yes. We have one. Okay. I don't know where my, my mix. is. I have is, both, but – yeah. I could model it now. <laughs> yeah, do tell. So, uh, Chris, you can describe it, and I'll tell you that when I had that flu thing after Del Big Tree's event, first time in my life, I saw, is that a giant spider in the drain of my shower? No, it's your hair. <laughs> so I called Chris, and I said, oh, God, you got to do a hair serum. He goes, we've already done it. <laughs> Chris, tell us what it is, because yeah. three weeks so later, I didn't lose a hair. It's the same active ingredients. We've just formulated it so that it's better on the scalp. Um, it is similar 
uh, in that uh, we've got a, a peptide, we call it UTH29, youth 29 peptide. Uh, and then I don't have the other bottle. Or here it I? is. I, oh, I'm here holding it, is. it Yeah, I've you. got the other bottle here. So it's the same situation. For every squirt of the UTH29 peptide, you put two drops of the ESS60 activator. Um, typically, you again, you mix it in your hands. I just put it on my fingertips and get it under my hair, right? So move the hair out of the way and get it to your scalp. Um, it, I actually do this in the shower. You can do it right out of the shower. It is recommended to kind of scratch gently your scalp to, to prepare it for absorption. And, um, and yeah, you're, you're, you're right. You, you did the research. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, you do research. I do. I do. <laughs> like, it's almost like you do research regularly. <laughs> um, UTH 29, uh, is, is our version of a copper peptide is actually a really strong concentration. Uh, and yeah, 30 years of skin and hair improvement. Have you guys, uh, are you familiar with microneedling? Do you know the concept of microneedling? Okay, now, well, okay, okay. So, um, you know, I, I, obviously you can you do it on your face. Uh, you can also do it on your scalp. I'm just wondering if you guys have done any research into microneedling prior to applying that to the scalp. I would, I would do it after. Um, okay. And one of the challenges, I mean, we've considered selling it with, uh, the FDA has very is very particular about microneedling, so yeah. I can like give it to you, but I can't tell you that it increases circulation. I right. can't tell you that it increases absorption. I'm not allowed to say all of those things because then yeah. it's a medical device, yeah. and we're not allowed to sell medical devices. Um, so, so yes, I think microneedling in general is a good idea. Um, maybe at the, I, I think it's at the five millimeter or 0.5 millimeter. Uh, I, I don't remember where the decimal point is, but on your face and a little bit longer on your scalp because it's got to get kind of through the hair. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but I do that regularly. I used to do it weekly, but you know, I, I do it whenever I remember. And I have that in my shower for that purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Is that why your hair stands straight up? <laughs> you, you spike it and then it just goes straight up. <laughs> I mean, it you know it's nice and thick and lustrous, so um, I would believe it that you're that you're doing it. It's um you know it's the kind of thing anybody out there if you don't know what microneedling is, you can check it out. It's basically a titanium roller which has you know varying levels uh, or varying heights of needles on it. It's one uniform height, uh, depending upon which one you get. Uh, and then you literally just roll it along the skin. You have to do it hard enough to break the skin because what it does is uh, it, it creates basically these micro needle points through your skin. And that that will stimulate uh, growth of collagen. And then also for the scalp and the face. I've seen guys do it on their face if their beard isn't full like mine is. And uh, <clears throat> and it will it will essentially uh, create the growth of new hair. And uh, it's pretty amazing. I, I mean, it's like a yeah. sort of basic kind of thing. Um, and a lot of people pay big bucks to go to an esthetician or to a plastic surgeon to have it done in a clinical environment. But it's pretty simple and you can do it at home and uh, and, and it works. I mean, it definitely works. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think the, the the classic kind of hormetic response is what you're looking for, right? The same way we build muscle is we tear it down yep. and then it builds up stronger. Um, the Those little micro tears cause the body to send in uh, the repair mechanisms. And then those repair mechanisms do all sorts of things like, hey, while we're here, let's grow a little hair. Hey, yep. while we're here, let's get rid of these dark spots. So micro needling is a, is a really valuable. And, and, and again, I would tend to do it after. Um, I can't tell you why I would do it after, but you want that nice um, application on the skin, and then you might imagine why you might do micro needling after you apply it. Okay, excellent. Well, um, I have not used the hair stuff, so I'm going to have to get some hair stuff now. I've just been doing the other ones, but uh, that's good to know. Very, very cool. Is um, that on your Santa list? It, so yes, you can... uh, yes. I actually, I, I'm, I'm almost out of my, uh, my bottle. So I was gonna uh, send a list over, but I will add that to it. <laughs> yes. Do. No. Um, this with the holidays coming. I know for myself. I think um, anybody over sixteen or eighteen, effortless. I shop at Evo, <laughs> and all of our promotions this holiday is one stop shopping because. Let's look around and, uh, you know, when people had to evacuate, what do you grab? Mm. What's most important? Sure. You grab those most important things. And I don't know if I shared this. It's almost embarrassing, but I did it. I, uh, we had a fire. 
oh, yes. nearby. It was big. It was scary. We had to evacuate. So I'm like kind of panic packing, but conscious packing. And so I've got everything. I throw it in the car. I take off. I meet my family at the post office. And they said, we're going to head that way. And we'll meet you in six miles at this restaurant parking lot where we could really see the flames. But from the post office, I could really see the flames. And I realized, oh, God, I didn't grab my Evo. And I've got two more canyons before it burns our house. I flew back to the house for my Evo. I got the body cream. I was like, my hips have got to heal. <laughs> so I got to get my Evo, got to get my body cream. And I actually ran back at the risk of burning, but I ran my pendulum because I'm from Boulder <laughs> and I was fine. So I got all my stuff and then I wailed off and we were just fine. Didn't burn, you know, but it came close and we could see the flames on the ridge. It was so the only reason I mentioned this high drama for a minute is because uh, we're all going to be facing a lot of interesting drama in this season where oh, yeah. strange things are happening. 400 miles inland, a hurricane from the ocean. So we don't know. But I know that we're selling a lot more bigger bottles lately because people are consciously preparing for if UPS or the post office, whatever has issues, what do I really want as a priority? So that's all I'm saying. I am really grateful that I stocked up. I did get a 32 ounce bottle of Evo. Um, but you know, this is just me personally. Um, I want to have facial stuff. I want to have Evo and I want to have the body cream. And so I ordered it from the lab. And the coolest thing that I want to share is that everything comes already gift wrapped. Mm -hmm. Our lab, like every product has its color. And so if you order gifts or gifts for yourself, or if I send you your grocery list gifts, they all come in different colored tissues. It's like effortless one-stop shopping and i'm recommending it because giving the gift of health where's my hat make america healthy again beautiful i mean if we can do it one friend at a time one family member at a time then we're being really excellent uh patriots and americans and earth beings but that's my mission and uh at this big party i was at i was really funny over there in the corner with the old people and one of them is doing adjustments chiropractic oh yeah the other is doing adjustments and neck release and i'm at the end going um okay using my pendulum they're all lining up all these people and i'm like okay which flavor and luckily i had given the person that had the party family member and he wasn't taking it so i had all three bottles and i'm running the pendulum and people are like okay i want anyway <laughs> This is what I do. Everywhere I go, I just want to be helping people think these thoughts of um, making their lives healthy again and the people around them. And I'm really lucky to be partners with Chris and Robert, who have been doing this 33 years with great integrity, selling to research institutions around the world. We're the only lab that's been doing it this long. I'm lucky to represent them. All I do is come up with, oh, Let's do a body cream. <laughs> this works on everything. And, you know, I mean, I can only go so long taking this and rubbing it on my skin and saying, wow, look how quick that got better. So now we got a body cream. We got a lip balm. It's all I use. I look at my kitchen counter. It's like, which flavor? <laughs> I look at my bathroom counter. Not a bunch of stuff. Just got the facial serums and the body cream. It's like. So easy, so clean, and this is how I'm honoring my body. It works. It absolutely works. So, Chris, I'm telling you, one of these days, I, I really want you to uh, bring your laptop into the lab so that we can see, like, uh, the uh, the behind-the-scenes stuff, because that's what always gets me juiced. Uh, I used to love chemistry when I was a kid. And, um, you know, I, I've, I've been in a number of different like processing factories and, you know, I've had jobs in a couple of different in industrial sectors. So that kind of stuff always fascinates me. And uh, I would I would love to see this uh, this taking place or you guys could do a documentary about it. That wouldn't be a bad idea. 
I, I'll certainly get some B roll. Um, Perfect. I need just need to add it to my list and get some B roll to you, so then you can kind of show the the different um, the different areas, right? So yeah, the actual lab where we have uh, kind of testing equipment. I think most uh, well, I'm extremely confident that most of the companies that might claim to be in our space don't have that kind of equipment, so aren't testing their uh, products regularly. And when I say regularly, I mean multiple times per batch. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got the full, you know, massive stainless steel tanks that are mixing and they mix for three weeks. Part of the, the secret sauce is as you go to larger and larger tanks, it takes longer and longer for you to get complete saturation. And so we do that and we do that with a, a nitrogen backfill. So there's no oxidation. That's one of your biggest concerns with oils is, is it going to oxidize while you're mixing it? Uh, Cause you have to mix it vigorously. Like mm -hmm. there's, there's literally a whirlpool in the middle of this big stainless steel vat uh, of the olive oil or avocado oil or MCT. And, and if you had oxygen in there, you would just be folding that oxygen into it and oxidizing it. Uh, so that nitrogen back gas is actually really important. So, yeah. And then, you know, where we fill, where we ship, all, all of that good stuff. I'll, 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 I'll add that to our list. I would love that. And I will definitely integrate it. So let me ask you this. When you're using the nitrogen, I, it has to be a closed loop system. Are you able to recycle that nitrogen like do you, after after you use it for that sort of buffer to make sure it doesn't oxidize? Can you uh, 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 like suck it back out basically and then uh, use it again? Or do, do you have to uh, let it go off into the atmosphere and use a new you, one? You really have to let it go off. Okay. And it's a, you know, a non-toxic gas sure. and it's a relatively inexpensive if we were doing something like a helium um, which is significantly more expensive. Yeah. We wouldn't, you know, we would try and recapture it. Certainly wouldn't want to do anything with hydrogen. That's very explosive, dangerous. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, really you put a slight positive pressure. And so it's constantly pushing. If there were any links in the leaks in the tank, like small leaks, then it would be an outward leak. Yep. It wouldn't be allowing oxygen into the tank. Okay. All so right. I got to tell you, uh, when we decided to be partners, um, they flew me out for the weekend. And the first day I had to convince them I was cooler than I am. <laughs> and uh, so they could totally trust me and I'm squeaky clean. So the day two, they didn't take me into the lab till day two. I had to pass all the tests. You did and, the background uh, check and make sure she wasn't going to be oh, yeah. uh, stealing trade secrets. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, and I'm not technical. So all I knew was size, heat. Oh my God. But I had seen... A lab in Colorado that was, um, uh, yeah, icky. And so when I saw theirs, it was like, holy crap, the door opens, it's 100 degrees. You, first you get the billow <laughs> of heat and everything's massive and immaculate. I was so blown away that this is a real lab. I'd never seen anything like it. And he's talking about these big turning vats, just huge and shiny and you know, everything's coming out large. Everything was really large. The tubes, the hoses, the electric wires, but meticulous. It, it's really impressive. It, it was really meticulous. But then the Star Wars machine in the back, this massive metal reactor that Chris and Robert designed when they were in college. And um, I think you said there's a new version since college. Uh, that you've made but i mean these are the original guys very cool but here i am non-technical and i look at the machine and we just met and he's you know heard of woo woo colorado but he didn't know what it really looked like and so i said wait wait do those arms come up and do this you know and i kind of described his shape and he said yeah i thought you weren't technical and i said saw it in a dream okay let's mm. be partners <laughs> so Woo woo meets science, and it's just been perfect because I love coming up with new products that work. We don't do gag products like gummies or something that you can't get enough ESS 60 in, mm -hmm. but also the old world of industrial grade C60, which is what most companies are selling online, unfortunately. We will only sell for ink, batteries, tires, and photo cells. It's industrial grade. And it was our lab that elevated the process to become ESS60 safe for humans and pets intentionally. So it's a different cleaning process, much more intensive, and it's far different than industrial grade. It just is made specifically to be 
for us. And now we're really benefiting. And so this collection of wonderful gifts I got um, just came with something that I didn't know uh, we had upgraded, but this beautiful accordion fold out oh, yeah. is really nice. And it describes all the products that uh, we have. Almost all it looks like we need to add our body cream. I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> it's... Yeah. I mean, for those that, uh, you know, can't figure it out, trust me, just take this on a spoon, keep it simple before noon, and you're going to be banging all day long with great energy, mental focus, and uh, I think they'll start calling you a badass if you're lucky, so. Uh, um, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, monthly subscriptions, 20% off, and if you don't love it, psh, call, text, whatever, Send us an email. We won't even ask questions, but most people stay with it for a very long time because of the results. They're obvious. Um, if you get any gift sets, 15% off each item becomes the price of that set. We do dozen quantities called a case of any item, and those are 25% off. But no matter what you do, use the code at the bottom of this show for another 10% off, which is Zach's secret code. Yes. And you can find it uh, if you go to our link, which is c60evo.com forward slash red pill 78. You'll get that secret code and uh, see the products. And then you can also just tap see more and go to the store and still use Zach's code to get 10% off all the other discounts um, at the end. And I think that you're going to have uh, a lot more happy days when you feel good when you see your pets feel good and then you can join our gang and not be political <laughs> just basically make america healthy again that's right show your colors uh yes the, the best part is uh, that using code red pill 78 you guys will get 10 percent off on top of the other discounts that you're already getting uh, and the link is always in the description. It's actually in the description of every show, even if my guests from ESS60 and C60 Evo are not here. But you can always find it down there. And uh, specifically, it'll be the very top link that you see below. And you've probably also seen it flashing on screen as we've been talking. So uh, listen, guys, uh, I, uh, I, I have to run because I have another show that I'm doing right after this. But I wanted to, as I always do, uh, get final thoughts from you on uh, what's happening, where we're going. What do you really want people to take away? We're, Chris, let's begin with you, buddy. Yeah, well, first, uh, since you have, I know you had a show right before this because yeah. you let us know you might be a little bit late. You made it on time and then you've got a show after this. So I'm really glad that you got to do a shot uh, in this show to keep things going. Um, I know it always keeps me going. Um I, I we're excited to be connected with your audience and and really appreciate you, Zach. So thank you for having us. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to be able to host you. I, I love you guys, and obviously I love ESS sixty as well. Patty, final thoughts. Uh, I'm the opposite of Chris. I'm used to our shows at one o'clock, and all of a sudden I had a pop up at twenty of, and I went, "What do you mean the show's in twenty minutes?" <laughs> I had to blast off. <laughs> and throw stuff. I was in the middle of so many things. I thought I had an hour 20. And in 20 minutes, I made it happen. You did. Mm -hmm. And you look so, great, as uh, you always do. Well, thank you. But I got to tell you, I put this, this is how I start my day. A tablespoon of this in my morning coffee. And I really don't usually take a second shot unless we do a show and I want to be as brilliant as you guys. Then I do the olive oil, which is twice as strong. But to start your day with the MCT coconut oil in your coffee, great way to start the day. I'm just like, until I fall over at nine, I'm like a clock. <laughs> you, so, you're, you're in good company, Patty. We're all in good company. My wishes for everyone is radiant health and um, a wonderful evolution of our country in the next few weeks and a whole lot more of this. Peace. Beautiful. All right, you guys. Uh, thanks again for being here. Everybody at home, thank you very much for joining us. Once again, it's c60evo.com forward slash redpill78. Make sure you use the code redpill78. You'll get 10% off of all of their amazing products. And uh, I look forward to having you back again next month as uh, we do every single month. So thank you again for being here. By that time, 
it will be a brand new world and uh we'll have oh to, my yeah, god it, it will be <laughs> yes it will be so you know <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just pray until that time. Drop in. <laughs> We're actually staying bolder. Yes. Peace. All right, you guys. Thanks again for being here, and we'll uh, see everybody at home on the next one. Thank you.